So it's been a drawn out, arduous affair, this blooming truck hunting. I've had a look at a few different ones and I've got a um, B bloke who's helping me out a bit and he's got an old truck. So we're heading off to the registrar to see if we can get a temporary permit to drive it home to see if we can drive it on the road. So, God, I tell you what, it's a bit involved this here being legal. And that would give you a bit of a shock, wouldn't it? Bush B-Man actually doing something by the rules, but you know, the highway patrol boys, they frown a little bit on you if you don't do it quite like you meant to. So come along and we'll go into the registrar and see what they've got to say for themselves. Probably should check the details of my paperwork before I get this close to the, to the bloody registrar. This actually ran out in 08, so what are we in now? 19? I don't know. So this might be a little bit out of date, this bit of paper. I will find out shortly. Well, so far so good. They actually said we can take this truck on the road. I'm glad they didn't ask for a pitch like they do for my, when I do my tractors. We'll just sneak off while we've got the paperwork. Hope the highway patrol doesn't pull us over. That'll suck. There's been a few comments about my engineering and building abilities. I was just having a bit of a laugh. We're out here in the middle of nowhere and I just went to go to the loo. I want to show you something that in Australia we'd call a workaround. Work around a problem. Check this out. <laughs> I think I could be in trouble though. It's not really toilet humour, just, just bear with me. So I just thought I'd show you. This is rather interesting. See this little niche that I've got in the door here? You notice that? That's quite good. But wonder why they would put a niche in the door. Just watch this. So it can miss the toilet. How friggin' cool is that? Or oh, rough. Now I don't know, but this bloke should have bought a tape measure at all. That's oh, fucking funny, yes. <laughs> even the pencil marking out's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what he used to. I wonder what he used to cut that. But anyway. Doesn't matter, I digress, I just thought it was funny. I'm thinking if we get halfway home, remember me and my dad went and got a trailer one time. Was it a trailer or a hydroplat? some bloody thing and we were driving home one of the wheels fell off and went racing out in front of us down the hill so hopefully that doesn't happen or the truck could blow up halfway home yeah, oh god I don't know <laughs> just, there's so many possibilities that it's a bit scary I wonder where the fuel is that'll be the funniest thing we'll have to go down there and get some fuel too before we go they'll say what the fuck are you doing Yeah, they come. Yeah, yep, there's oh, some... a truck you can take yeah. in with the oh, cool. one. Ho hopefully, hopefully we don't have to replace them on the way home. That could be fun. <laughs> no, well, we never done much fun. We had to put a lot of tyres on it. Yeah, 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 we did, you do. Yeah. Anyway, folks, this is Les. He's been a beekeeper as long as, well, actually, I since, reckon you... Since I was 12. Since he was 12, so he's been keeping bees... 1940. 1940, my Lord. And he's got some stories to tell, I tell you what. How we, I reckon... Keep me amused hearing about all the adventures that you've had. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, he's seen more honey, I reckon, than I've seen because I haven't seen too much just yet. <laughs> yeah, we took two ton in one day. The, were they, did you still, and you had them in the old 44s back in the day? or the, Yeah, we yeah. Was, no, we were using tins in. Tins, yeah, the tins. Back in 70 it was, and yeah. we, it was up near Wilpena Pound yeah, on yeah. the um, carriage on, on the Coolabar wet sea that year, and they were butted up and they yielded. So Les has got this little truck that was his pride and joy for a little while, but it sat in his yard and, and we thought, well, perhaps we'll have a crack at getting it going. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. Well, Get the load of working. Yeah. Come of age, I will, as a beekeeper, getting <laughs> a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon the other day Les said it had been sitting there about four years and we played around, got some batteries, gave her a bit of a pump up and she took off. So that was positive. And the engine started. Yeah, yeah exactly right. The main thing. Yeah, one well, of the main things. One of the main things, yeah. When did we figure out how to get the clutch and get the thing out of gear? <laughs> <laughs> so we might have to take that little bee box off the back. Or those girls will get excited on the way home. <laughs> you 
hasn't gone completely flat, so we're in with the charts. <laughs> Me hose is a bit perished. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen with that. But anyway, we'll run a bit of tape around it and see what happens. I don't like my chances, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. I was telling John on the way down, you're a man after my own heart. He does um, reactive maintenance the same as me. When shit breaks down, you fix it. <laughs> I think we might end up with an air bubble, but there's still, it might work. That might get us out of trouble. I think we might be going for a drive to get a new one. All right. <laughs> So where would be where would you get a tire down the, the servo? Down the servo is the best place. Is anywhere, yeah. I shall return. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh God. Typical. Pick up the wrong one. <laughs> oh well. Ah oh, well. You know, if you follow along for a while, you probably realise most of my stuff's in your shit anyway. Oh golly. Do you think we might get that to go? What do you think? <laughs> Isn't he a cool old bloke though? I'm just thinking that we're going to be able to handle the embarrassment of coming here to buy some diesel in this truck. I mean, fuck. You know, maybe we should just buy some jerry cans so we don't have to come back. Ah, don't be so squibbish. You'll be right, MJ. It's all good. Right, let's see if he's got a spot for us. Ah! <laughs> Still not going to be any good because the bit that we need is the other one didn't have the right fitting. Oh, God damn it. Where else are we going to go? I wonder with the Z Mac down there. There ought to be another shot. Oh! Damn it. What's that down there? That's irrigation. They're not going to have what you want. How could it be always just so. Oh, here's handy hardware. That's what we want. True value too they are. They're true value, not just shit value. There's a happening shop. Check that shit out. We drove past straight past that. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go back and get my $20, aren't I? But anyway, let's go and see whether we can find what I want in this one. Hold that thought. <laughs> oh, well at least they are true value. That's a bit better. What's that? $29 versus $129. Might not be as good a quality, but it'll get us out of the shit. Hopefully it works now, hey? Well, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, surely. That's a bit old like it. Now it's a shot. <laughs> Blew a front tire with a load of bees on, on the highway. And then, as the trucks and cars were all coming past us, you hear them slowing down and <laughs> then next thing the cops were down there taking photos and oh, you've got to get it shifted God. off this highway. Oh Lord. If you can't shift it, we'll get a bloody tire on it. See, I'm not an orphan. I'm <laughs> 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 everybody. We lost the, the brakes, front brake hose went coming through the hills and loaded the super. Yeah. When, the, when the wife and I was first married, when we had that little bloke who's about five for this, coming down Germantown Hill before they made the freeway. Yeah. And the bloody brakes went. Oh. So I changed it back to uh, third gear. Yeah. I was just changed back. And then it over revved the guts out of that. Yeah, of course it would have, yeah. So she's trying to get hot, I'd reckon. So I had to use the handbrake a bit, and then that caught on fire. <laughs> and the little bloke, he's about five, said, look, pretty fire, pretty fire, Dad. Pulled the handbrake off and was passing a load of TNT <laughs> going down the bloody hill. Oh, shit. So I had to fly around past that on the corners because I had no brakes. Oh, and I said, the missus said, what will I do, jump out? I said, no, bloody hang on, if we crash, you got more hope. Anyhow, we got out of it and when yeah. we got to market, we 
fire went out and I forgot a bit of speed on the handbrake was yeah. on the yeah, got a bit of cool. Just took yeah. the back of the gearbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she got a bit of air to cool it down. Oh, <laughs> crap. So when we got to Murray Bridge, we had to go backwards and forwards by the pub so we could stop because they had no brakes. <laughs> Ran out of momentum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. We've had a few experiences. Oh, I reckon. Oh, street. <laughs> anyway, you sound like me. It's a scary concept. <laughs> we could get in all sorts of trouble together, I think. <laughs> Too old now. I'm guessing we got a seatbelt. <laughs> we got a seatbelt. <laughs> That'll be the next thing. Oh yeah, here's the seatbelt. Cool. Did you ever put your seatbelt on, Les? No. no. <laughs> so at least I'm on it. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly right. That's a bit of a worry because we filled that up the other day. Uh, I reckon she's lost a bit of water again. I'll go and get some. Yeah, thanks, champ. <laughs> Positive or negative, the fact that it starts. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> still got a break, so. So there might be a bit of a leak somewhere because we had this filled up the other day. I oh, know. Well, it didn't take anywhere near as much water, so it's not completely leaked out. No. Now that being that you're a legend, would you think less of me ever put a bee suit on to move your box off the truck just in case it drops on my head? <laughs> you're gonna work? I'm thinking about putting my bee suit on to move the box of bees. You might have to if you got a smoker, would you? No! Wouldn't that have been a good idea? <laughs> that would have been a beekeeper's I idea. I know, it would have been a beekeeper's idea. The jolly things I got you... one in the bus. Hopefully it works. Oh well, fingers crossed. Brakes work at 10k's an hour. Don't do yourself a damage, lad. <laughs> Get your hero. More weight than I thought. <laughs> we just gotta go yep, yep. Mm -hmm. gotta go forward a bit. Yep. But I can't lift much. You're alright. You ready? Yep. Yeah, do you want to turn them around so no, they no, go that way? You want to face against the sun? No, I don't want to. Like that'll have to do. Yep. And they'll figure it out. Yep. These lasses are a little bit confused. <laughs> they will be because they could have to go in there. Yes, yeah, but they'll work it out. We're not we're not quite too far away, so No. It's a... I'll keep an eye on them. Oh yeah, no, there is another one. That's good. This is a mystery device. That's the way you lose your skin down there when you yeah, do that. Yeah, run down. Yeah. That'll just support our crane when we travel along the road so that doesn't have to bounce on that pivot point. So we don't want to wreck it before we get that far, do we? <laughs> Looks like fencing world. Fencing world. Maybe it was a fencing world once upon a time. Oh my gosh. Anyway. No. It's even still got the fire extinguisher on board. Where are we young lads? What do you reckon? Sorry. <laughs> we'll find out where the cabin leaks now. <laughs> Let's clean her up a bit and hopefully, hopefully we get there between shifts when the when the highway patrol boys are going home. <laughs> well, not that it really matters because we've got a proper permit, but I'd just rather not have that conversation <laughs> with the boys in blue.
be a bad idea. I don't think I'll put too much diesel in it because I'm feeling real hopeful. <laughs> been in the yard a while. Where the hell did it go? <laughs> it can't be that far away. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, we've had a little explosion. <laughs> well, she was getting hot, so I thought, well, I'll just take it off to the first stage of the radiator to let the pressure off. And then, of course, it didn't have a first stage, so she went boom. And now I don't know where the cap is. <laughs> I don't know where the lid went. <laughs> it was a little bit exciting. <laughs> Oh shit, I don't know where the cap went though. Son of a bitch. Oh well, we can drive without a cap, I guess. Where would it go? Oh, don't know how we're going to go without a radiator cap. We need to find the bloody radiator cap. Motherfucker. Oh, god damn it. Ah! Anyway, I don't know. There's a radiator gap here somewhere. This might have been better if the bloody truck hadn't started, mightn't it? Anyway, here we go. The speedo doesn't work either, so that's just a great thing.
Yo. You can't give yourself a can you? Hey. Is that smoke or is that? No, nah, it's only it's only uh, <laughs> steam, but I don't know whether the radiator I don't think the fucking temperature gauge is actually working properly because I think we might have <laughs> fucked it. Not good, Harry. <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> bah. Oh, hell, John. What are we going to do now? I don't know that this is going to be a successful truck to register anyway, is it? Maybe this will just save me from myself if <laughs> it gets, doesn't make it home. Oh, fucking hell, John. If you just tow us to our little place and then we'll go home and worry about this tomorrow. You know how to tow me, don't you? You'll be right with that. too much about anything but it makes you, I think I'll have to get a pair of earplugs for this truck. He's a bit rowdy county customer. Well, I think if you were to have a scale of one to ten on success, I think we're about a one <laughs> the minute. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be going out with the wife dancing tonight. No, it doesn't look real promising since I'm supposed to be home in, I don't know, half an hour and it's like an hour's drive from where we are at the minute. Anyway, it's a pretty sunset. That's, a, that's about the sum total of my day. Oh my god, I don't know. Note to self, perhaps just save up until you can afford a real truck. But anyway, Les was so excited that we were going to go and pick up a load of bees in his truck if we ever get there, but I'm not holding out much hope to make him smile yet again, but still, anyway, isn't he a charming old bloke? Anyway, there you go, there's 150 episodes in. I bet you never thought that shit was going to happen. I was going to call this the Bush Bee Man Comes of Age, but I think it's going to be the Bush Bee Man Went to Shit. <laughs> anyway, fuck off, I'm going home. <laughs>